every four years, the Boy Scouts have a jamboree, which is basically scouts from all over the country come to get together to participate in high adventure activities and things like that. And one of the things they offer is some merit badges. And we decided to show them that it was possible to teach chemistry in a field on top of a mountain. So we actually set up a working chemistry lab complete with you know all the appropriate safety features. We had eye wash stations, fire extinguishers, safety glasses, and had the kids conduct experiments and go through um, all but one of the requirements for the chemistry merit badge. And we had over 2,000 scouts participate in our booth during the course of the event, which was phenomenal. The four classes were Safety Extreme, which was Energetic Reaction. There was a CSI Jamboree, where they actually solved a crime by conducting a DNA gel electrophoresis. The Senate Hearing where the scouts uh, pretended to be senators conducting an investigation into contamination on the beach at a scout camp. And the fourth area was a hands-on demo area where they made a Cartesian diver and uh, played with a sock slit and some, a Spec 20 and some other instrumentation that they could actually get their hands on. We had a total staff of 16 for our booth. Seven of them were Ph.D. chemists. Uh, many of the others were we had a physician, a dentist, you know, people who were in kind of chemistry-adjacent careers. I think to a lot of us it was important because it was showing, it was it enabled us to interact with the scouts and show chemistry in a different light. As a chemistry ambassador, a lot of times you're, you know, in a laboratory, which is the setting that chemists are familiar with, but this let us bring chemistry to a new setting and show the scouts that chemistry is everywhere. It's not just in the laboratory, and you can create a laboratory anywhere, even in a field on top of a mountain. Mm -hmm.